with wildfire smoke and fine particulate matter filling our air on an increasingly regular basis. You may be wondering at what air quality index level you should be staying indoors, keeping children from playing outside, closing your windows, or looking into an air purifier? Well, the answer to all of these questions is... Since everybody's different and unique, that we can't really say one size fits all or one number fits all. Generally, a one is clean. No need to have concerns. Over 10 it means everyone should take precautions. However, every number in between is not cut and dry. Every little bit of an increase in air pollution leads to an increased risk. As it's going up, how are we feeling? If you do feel throat irritation or coughing or your eyes are runny, that's the beauty of the inflammatory response. It's a quick response of our body to fix damage or to attack invading microbes, in this case with wildfire smoke. A normal, healthy adult may just need to be more aware and monitor those symptoms when the air quality levels are moderate from five to six. For a vulnerable person, as defined by the air quality health index at level five we we would basically say you know should be considering stopping what you do outside in particular strenuous anything strenuous and moving it indoors or postponing it until the levels below four if it's 10 plus we say matter of factly you should be inside and should not be outside that's the vulnerable population but what is the point when the average adult should actually stay indoors? Levels between eight to nine would make sense to make shifts in how much you are exposed. Poor air quality could be a trigger or exacerbate many health conditions. The same goes for children and healthy seniors. Think more of a seven to eight on the index as a good place to start making some alternate indoor plans.